to have the choir back in good number. My apologies for this odd arrangement with the mask and the microphone. They really didn't invent these robes to be worn in COVID times. <laughs> so rather than just get so tangled up, I can't get out of this at all. I'm going to lower it and raise it. So after I announced the first uh, carol, and they'll all be on your sheet and they're all the, the service sheet as well. And after that, we won't announce them. We'll just uh, We'll just go through. So let's keep a moment's quiet. The Virgin is with child and will soon give birth to a son, and she will call him Emmanuel.
You sent forth your Son, the firstborn of all creation. He is our Christ, the light of the world, and him we acclaim as all creation sings to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever.
angel Gabriel saluted the Blessed Virgin. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and to now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. <coughs> Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, who is said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. 
that day the decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Tiberius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to be a her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. 
The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them.
not do, except to do for this is what we call wise men from afar. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard of this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called to the wise men and learned from them the exact time that the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star. And they had seen at his rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child was Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left their own country.
dry point by John Wilson. Lord Jesus Christ, you came to escape when men looked in hell. You were born in poverty when we might have anticipated riches. King of all the earth, you were content to visit one nation. From beginning to end, you upturned our human value and helped us to seek the truth. Come to us, Lord Jesus. Do not let us take you for granted or pretend that we have ever fully understood you. Continue to surprise us so that, kept alert, we are always ready to receive you as Lord and to do your will.
Christ, who hung in agony on the cross, we hold up to you the community of all who suffer this night. We pray especially for those who suffer in body, mind, and spirit. We offer up to you those who are unwell, those who've recently been diagnosed with serious illness, remembering our own Archdeacon Ian Bentley. We pray for him and for Caroline, his wife, and for their family in the shock that they are going through. And we pray that you will give him strength. And we remember in a moment's quiet all those we know to be suffering, those who feel themselves lonely, cut off, isolated in these difficult times. We pray that we can respond to each other's needs with the generosity and the kindness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, who died to save us, you came into this world knowing it wasn't perfect, knowing that we had rebelled, knowing that we would continue to sin, but seeking to save our souls. Help us to understand that we are loved, and that you forgive and you forget, and life can move on and be rebuilt and move towards what you wish us to be. As we strive to be our better selves, Lord, we give you thanks for the gift of forgiveness. In your mercy. In your mercy. The people who walked in darkness have seen the great light. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Prince of Peace. And now may the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love, now and into all eternity. Amen. Amen. There is a retiring collection as we leave, which will be given for the great work of the homelessness shelter in King's Lynn, the Winter Night Shelter. Please give as generously as you are able to. And before I sign off and let us sing again, can I just say what an absolutely wonderful, wonderful evening. And who knew conducting was so energetic? <laughs> it's never been this close since he's seen Susan do it for real. It was like watching Strictly all over the <laughs> Quite marvelous. It's been wonderful. Nick, thank you so much supporting us uh, through this period. We're really grateful. And for the choir, why have you knocked it out of the park? <laughs> Thank you. I only wish I could sing. <laughs> now, everyone. Can we just say uh, a very big thank you? Because this is our last service with Susan. And I think the Narvali churches have been very fortunate for all these years of hard work and dedication. We're so proud of her. And I'm really proud to have sung with these lovely people. So thank you, Susan, for your life. You said better, <laughs> Go in peace to await the coming of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Our final hymn, Angels from the Realms of Glory.
can go by. My dear, a much loved spouse. A dress of jewelry, or oh, perfume, or something for the house. Oh, little bells, Christmas smells for things through the air. Pipers, candles, stockings, pies, and the Christmas beer. Jingle bells, Christmas smells for things through the air. Spices, perfumes, after shame, all the Christmas fair. Make a list to do, there's lots of parts to write. When busy wrapping presents, Oh, jingle bells, 